So it's like to purport that you go out outside and you just no, put on this makeup and high heels for yourself. For yourself is is BS at the end of the day. And I've had there was a lady. I oh, wish I remembered some of them. She even spoke. No, tell, she's, tell she, us, tell us. she was honest. She was like, "You think I go out clubbing just for myself?" Yeah. She's like, "You think I go through all this effort?" So I can go out clubbing so no one can look at me. She was like, I'm honest, I do go out clubbing because I want guys to yeah. see see this, to yeah. talk to me. Yeah. She goes, I'm sorry, any any lady, she said any ladies out there being like, oh, yeah, I do it for myself. You can literally do that at home. Yeah. If you want to do it for yourself, dress up at home, don't yeah. go out. Yeah. Most most people have speakers, yeah. you have a TV, play some music, dance with your friends. Yeah. There you go. You won't have any gazes, no one trying to chat you up, but attention is crucial. They love it. Yeah, it's, and don't lie that you don't like. Everyone loves attention. Yeah, attention, attention for ladies, guys who don't know this. I'm gonna tell you a secret, um, and whether ladies find this toxic that I'm telling secrets, the secret is is it's a very true statement. Is that attention is a, a currency for women as much as men view sex, sex yeah. as a currency for us or whatever. So. Um, ladies don't necessarily need to sleep with you. They can get satisfied off the fact that you reply to her message yeah. on or Bumble like or Tinder or send a like on her photo or follow her Instagram link that mm. she put in her her Bumble bio. bio. Yeah. Or even more, even worse, if you're an unfortunate dude that's sitting there and you're going on people's OnlyFans Fans, yeah. and you're you're paying for that crap, then you also you know you're you know you're a, a, a giving her stimulation on the fact that not even just with the currency on top of that just for the fact that you've decided to go give her that attention yeah. so attention is currency you know and unfortunately you know they kind of liken uh disciplining people in a, in a relationship and when i say disciplining people i mean by if someone is rude to you they almost you almost have to treat um people almost like a child and pull attention away from from them Mm. In order to tell them, like, no, I'm going to ignore the screaming child on the ground, swinging their arms. And you have to treat, unfortunately, children like that. And sometimes some ladies can be a bit childish. They can be infantile in how they go about their way of wanting things done. And they can, you know, try to abuse their power for attention. Yeah. Why do we lie? Why do they lie? Why can't you just say, like, I like to get the, te the attention? I'm going out, I'm doing it for attention. Well, why? Because she may have a boyfriend. And if she says that and acknowledges that it's not about her man, but it's about attention from other men, that guy's going to be out the door, right? He's going to be done with you. So that's why they lie. They lie because they want to have their cake and eat it too. When people ask me the question, oh, Rolo, my girlfriend asked me if she could go on a girl's night out or she could go to a Vegas weekend and blah, blah, blah. And she, uh, what should I say? And I said, I tell you, I'd say this. I say, you let her go. I say, yeah, good. Have a good time. And then when she comes back, all her shit's out on the sidewalk and her, the locks are changed and she's out on her ass because you don't talk about boundaries. You enforce boundaries. And, you know, so that's what we mean by toxic femininity is abusing your 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 um, physicality for attention. attention 100%. And you're tricking men on, on top of that to think and purport that you're actually interested in them when you have no real intentions with this person. It's like it's like ladies that go out on a date with a dude. And they have zero oh, intentions no, no, of sleeping with the guy. Well, seeing him, ladies also. will waste your time. Yeah. And ladies, you know this. <laughs> you will waste the dude's time, and you'll go out for a meal, for a coffee, and you know you have no desire to sleep with this dude. Look, Kevin Samuels is very famous for saying something very true. He said, "Look, if you don't like this harsh reality, I'm going to say it to you. If you don't want to have a sex, if you don't want to have sex with a man, don't go out on a date with him." All men want sex from you. We do. We do. And if you don't want to have sex with the dude, do not go on a date with him and waste his time. That's not what we value, ma'am. We want a beautiful woman on our arm. Yeah, and, that's the problem. Well, no, you're the problem. I'm the because, problem. Yes, you're the problem because I'm telling you what men want. You've experienced what men want. And you've got a problem with it. That's your problem. We're not going to change. You're either going to get on board with it or you will die alone. So what should I be looking for then? Well, honestly, first you need to get down and understand that you have no leverage. You have no leverage in this matter. It's the men. We control access to relationships. You control access to sex. You need to understand what a man that you would want 
what he would want in a girlfriend, wife, or significant other. So we do have expectations. I think. I of think things. for me, it's more like if you have no expectation of just having anything with him, whether it's sex, whether it's relationship, you shouldn't. Yeah. If, so if you don't point, have a. Bruh. And you go out on a date with a chick, you want to smash her. Don't lie. Of course, of course every guy wants a, like, uh, realistically, every guy would love to. You wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't go on a date with her if you didn't want to smash her. But I mean, like... Um, and I'm sorry, I don't want to use the term smash, <laughs> but it's like mashed potatoes. It just is what it is, you know? I, what I'm trying to say is... Smash potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter whether... Because every 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 guy is different, I believe, and I don't go on a date and go. I just want to have sex. I'm sorry, but like, of, of course, but look, look, of course, you don't preface it. Yeah, that. But way. I'm what I'm trying to say is, if you're going on a date, <laughs> you're not, but, and you and and, and but, but just trying to be nice. No, nah, I'm I'm not trying to be nice. I'm just cap. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest, if you're going on a date as a as a woman, and you're you have actual no idea whether it's sex, whether it's relationship, whatever, it's anything. We're telling you if you don't have no you idea, you have no atten intention of anything. Because yeah. I think people get confused and be like, "Oh, so it's just sex, is it?" Well, no, because some guys the, 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 obviously eventually there's going to be sex. But I'm no, saying, no, no, the, I mean, like, cappuccino, nigga. Like, just, it, it's not just sex, but men want sex. Men do want sex, but I'm saying yes, like- we're physical. Men are physical, but I'm saying if you go into a date and you have no intention of anything, then that's an issue. Because like, I think, it, I, yeah. I believe if you go, if you tell any girl out there, yeah, men want sex, they'll, they'll, they'll just, they're like, whoa, I don't feel like just having sex. I want a more, cool, more connection. Cool, they might not feel like doing that yeah. or whatever, yeah. but like, if you want more connection, that's the part where I was gonna go into is mm. to tell them, you have to be able to show what you are worth and what you're bringing to the table to actually get more connection out of that guy. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, 100%. You know? You're yeah. going to this yeah. date. You might want that connection, but you also need to show why you're worth him connecting to it even more yeah. you you do woman control you do control access to sex, sex yeah you do 100 but we control access to relationships and if you want that stronger connection with the guy you have to do things that is above the ordinary women don't want to submit uh, they don't want to surrender. They don't want to make a sandwich, let alone cook a freaking pasta like dish. Like a real They meal. don't want to clean. They don't want to, women, even when they have children today, women are, and I am hating on these women. I'm sorry. The best thing for your child is to have your child vaginally. Yeah. Women are scheduling cesareans. Mm -hmm. They are not breastfeeding their children. I breast my son, fed my son until he was seven. I have encountered many women in my life, many, who have said, I don't really like this guy. And I'll say, why are you going out with him? Well, you know, free meal. <laughs> or, you know, it's dinner or whatever. I'll just won't talk to him afterward. I'm hungry. <laughs> Happens all the time. Happens all the time, which is why I tell guys, do not spend money on that first date. Don't spend it. Don't spend it. I would never advise a guy to spend a lot of money on a first date. And here's why. Women like this are prevalent. They're everywhere. And they're out to get you. Women divorce men 70 to 80 percent of the time. I, I would argue in relationships it's probably similar. Men aren't leaving, women are. So to a guy's point of view, he's going to commit to this girl. And what does he get? He doesn't get purity anymore. He doesn't He doesn't get youth anymore, so he doesn't get either of those things. A lot of times she already has a kid, so he, he's not fulfilling his mating strategy. On top of that, even if he does find a good woman that maybe has the qualities he's looking for, he, she was going to want him to marry her, right? And what does he get out of that? Oh, she can leave and take half and take my kids. And she's paid to take my kids away from me. She gets more money if she takes my children. And so from the men's point of view, they're just kind of like, F it, because women aren't wives nowadays. And what do they get out of it? Men are logical. They're logical people. And so they're, they're thinking, does the benefit outweigh the cost? I just think as women, we have to look at ourselves and say, the benefits we bring nowadays don't outweigh the cost for most men which is something that a lot of women won't do nowadays. They feel subjugated if they try to show that they're willing to do more to keep that guy's attention and, and retention. We have a burden of performance. That's why you chose us hmm. to, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you. No, 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 we, we agree. We have a burden of performance where we have to show what we bring to the table for yeah. you to even take us out on a date. date. Yeah, exactly. So if we decided to, and we, we, you picked us to go out on that date and that we are, are of value, and we, we build ourselves a value so we can have more 
intimacy intimacy selections yeah. with sexual activity, whether you guys don't know that or not. That's why men try to build themselves is so that we can even have opportunity to have that. You guys don't have to do anything. You can get someone to sleep with you. Yeah, yeah. But we actually have to build ourselves up. So if we have to do that, there's a burden of performance for you. So if you want that access to the relationship, you need to show what you can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. So it's less about your list of requirements on dating apps that you might have gotten hubris about and ego about because you get free attention on social media and dating apps. Mm. You still need to show what you provide if you want that connection. And I'm sorry, that's a truth that is missing from a lot of women that they're not telling you. Even some women on these podcasts are not telling you, you need to show what you can bring to the table. They'll purport for, for beyond a sexual thing. Like yeah, what yeah, can you bring yeah, to the yeah, table yeah, other beyond, than... Beyond, beyond, the, beyond the intimacy. Because yeah. the intimacy, is, it's a component of it yeah. that, that obviously men want to want, desire. Yeah. But if you want like relations, a long-term, long-term thing, term, yeah. investment, where we take the brunt of the... Um, uh, of consequences if that relationship fails. Behind every defeated man, you'll find a woman who ruined his life. This is something I tweeted this week. God, how could you say this? I mean, this isn't fair. Isn't the opposite true as well? What if a woman that also marries the wrong man? Absolutely. However, the American system protects the woman and there's a greater risk for a man to get married than a woman to get married and that's just the truth in america western society defends women so if a man is married to a woman you're financially tied where you have to take care of that person if you don't have an optional agreement in place which means in america the man has to be careful who to marry because she can totally ruin your life if you marry the wrong person if you see men as the enemy good luck finding a high value man simple as that you cannot see men as the enemy. Why do I say this? A lot of times mothers who went through a divorce and maybe married a man who didn't treat them well, they indirectly put that mindset into their daughters. Their daughters at six years old, seven years old, 10 years old, 15 years old have heard how many times that mom has talked smack about the dad. Eventually the daughter becomes a 22 year old woman who sees men as the enemy. If you see them as enemy, good luck finding a high value man. Hey guys, if you wanna watch more clips, click here. And if you want to watch the full podcast, click right here.